My name is Dr. Sami Dolatshahi. I'm a plastic and hand surgeon here at Beth Israel Deaconess Milton. Carpal tunnel syndrome, uh, or abbreviated carpal tunnel, um, or also called median neuropathy at the wrist, is essentially a condition where the median nerve gets compressed as it runs through this tunnel. And it can have a number of different causes, but they all have, um, as the end result, a compression uh, on the median nerve or of the median nerve that leads to symptoms. They can be really varied. It can be just numbness, it can be tingling, uh, it can be constant, it can come and go. It can wake people up at nighttime. Nocturnal symptoms, um, numbness, tingling, but also weakness. Um, patients can uh, report clumsiness, uh, especially with pinching activities, uh, so clumsiness of the thumb. Those are all very common symptoms, in addition to pain. And uh, it's interesting because some patients have more pain than others. Uh, some patients don't have pain, they just have persistent numbness and tingling and they show up 20, 30 years into their carpal tunnel because it never hurt them. So they thought, if it doesn't hurt, I may as well just deal with it. And as we'll talk about, that's not advisable. It doesn't necessarily have to be a surgical treatment. If you have a young person, for instance, in their 30s that occasionally gets symptoms when they're doing very heavy activities, sometimes a steroid injection can help them. Uh, also, we have wonderful hand therapists here in Milton, and uh, we have a protocol for carpal tunnel patients, or other nerve compressions uh, uh, for that matter, um, where they, the, the exercises promote a gliding of the nerve and the tendons around it. And uh, there are, so those are also measures that can be undertaken. Splinting is another option, especially at nighttime, since that's when the symptoms typically are uh, um, predominant. And so, yeah, the, the treatment is really customized. It's really individualized to, to the patient. If someone is having, they've tried other treatments, or if the compression is severe enough that the nerve is being damaged, I will recommend a surgical release, which is a carpal tunnel release. Generally speaking, what we do when we do a carpal tunnel procedure is we release the ligament that um, runs on top of the nerve. What we do is we uh, split or release the ligament that runs over it, that is putting pressure on the nerve, and that just allows the nerve to have more space to breathe and to uh, get better blood supply and, and hopefully recover. Carpal tunnel surgery is a day surgery. Uh, you come in and you leave a couple of hours later, uh, and it's done under uh, a local anesthetic. Um, with or without sedation if patients wanted to. So it's not that we don't put the patients to sleep for it. It's a fairly limited operation with a fairly short recovery. And uh, so it's a day surgery procedure. Come in and leave the same day. There's no harm in going to see a hand surgeon if you're having symptoms of numbness and tingling, if you've, even if you don't have pain. It's still something to look into. Uh, I think we run into trouble with patients who've had symptoms for many years, did not seek treatment, and now the nerve is permanently damaged. Some patients just put up with the discomfort, the nighttime symptoms, and they are plagued by it. You would not believe how uncomfortable uh, this can make patients and, uh, and how much relief the procedure, whether it's an injection or uh, an operation, can provide. Oh,